Hello and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Unknown 9 Awakening on the Lenovo Legion Go handheld. Now, please note, this is an initial impressions video of the performance of this game on my Legion Go, not of the game itself. Now, the settings of this game were kept at 1218 to 800 as far as the resolution goes. The VSync had been kept off. The limit of the frame rate was at 120 FPS. All graphics presets were on medium settings and the upscaling quality had been kept on balanced. So these were the settings that I was playing with and of course ray tracing was obviously kept off. Otherwise it would negatively impact the game. Now with these settings, let's get into the game and see how this performs. A very quick disclosure. Unfortunately, I do not have any overlay which gives you information of the frame rates. Now, the reason why is because I've just purchased this handheld device and I've just downloaded this game. I wanted to put out a video as soon as I could. Therefore, I was not able to get an overlay with the FPS. I'm just using the stock Xbox game bar overlay. Hopefully in the future, I will be able to show you more information through other overlays that I can install. Now I was playing this game with my PS4 controller and not the inbuilt controllers that came along with Lenovo Legion Go. Right at the start, I don't know if you had noticed, but there was a big stutter. And that was the trend with this game moving forward as well. There were a few very bad stutters here and there. I wouldn't say they were consistent. So when they did appear on screen, it was pretty severe. And you will get to see that in a few moments as well. As far as the game and the looks of it on this handle device go, I think it looks pretty decent given the fact that it's running at 800p. Now, the benefits of using a handle device like the Lenovo Legion Go is that there is a lot of software optimization which helps you get the most out of this handheld PC. There is the AMD Super Resolution. There's also Fluid Motion Frames. I probably might make a separate video on that. And then there's lossless scaling as well. And you can get frame generation done on lossless scaling. That also helps quite a lot on handheld devices like the Lenovo Legion Go. I'm not using lossless scaling. And uh, I did not have the AMD's fluid motion frames installed initially for this game. After I played it for some time, I did get a chance to play it with AMD's fluid motion frames as well. And that positively impacted the game. But this demo has none of that. It does not have AFMF. It does not have lossless scaling. It's running stock. Stock with all the settings that I've shown you right at the start of this video. So it should give you an idea as to what kind of performance you will get on the Lenovo Legion Go on this game without any of those software optimizations. I think it looks pretty decent even without those optimizations. Now, I don't know what kind of FPS I am getting, but based on the experience, I think it's around the 50 FPS mark. Again, when the stutters happen, they literally freeze the screen for some time. As you can see, these stutters are pretty bad. And when I used AFMF, it was not as bad as this. So AFMF definitely helped. I think probably lossless scaling could also help. Maybe getting the upscaling to performance would also help because right now I was using balanced. So all these things contribute to the overall performance of the game on handheld PCs. Now the benefit of having a handheld PC is that you at least have so many options as far as settings go. So you can tweak them around to get the optimum performance on your handheld device. 
unlike consoles where you only have a couple of settings, here on your handheld PC, you have the same amount of settings that you would have on a gaming PC. Probably a couple more, a few more, because at the end of the day, they want to optimize this device and give you the best performance. So this or these kind of devices are like the perfect harmony of um, physical hardware and a software. Because software goes a long way when it comes to optimum performance on devices like these. And here, you're seeing a prime example of how a brand new title like Unknown 9 Awakening can look on a handheld gaming PC like the Lenovo Legion Go. To me, it looks pretty good, pretty decent. Now, if, if it were not for those stutters, I think the performance was a pretty solid 50 FPS from what I can gather here on screen. The game looks great. Although it's 800p, I did not experience any negatively impacting shimmering effect. Of course, there is going to be a little bit of aliasing, but it's not bad at all, as you can see on screen. I am recording this on my mobile phone, by the way. And as you can see, this is being captured in 60 FPS on a mobile phone while it's really up close on my handheld PC. And it doesn't look bad at all. There is minimal shimmering, not a lot of aliasing. Of course, the asset quality is not as good as it would be on a more powerful PC. But we are talking about a handheld PC here, right? Now, I haven't spoken about this game because like I told at the start of this video, I am not making this video to comment about the quality of the game. <laughs> That's a whole different story because when I logged on to download this game, there were only 10 reviews for this game and almost all 10 of them were negative. So <laughs> it's quite interesting as to why and how people hate this game. I'm going to comment on that maybe in a separate video. This is not that video. I was only interested in this game because it had an India aspect attached to it. Now, I am obviously from India and uh, Indian mythology is very interesting to me. They are fantastic stories. These mythical stories of warriors from the past, of gods and demigods. And uh, all these stories really interest me. And this being a story which has uh, the lore around uh, India and uh, even an Indian king, Ashoka. I was pretty interested to download this game just for that one factor alone. I know a lot of people will associate this with the whole woke agenda because obviously female protagonist again. So... I am not going to comment too much on that in this video. What I will say, however, is that it has the lead actress, Anya Chalotra, the same actress from The Witcher TV series on Netflix. Her likeness has been captured here. All I would say is that it's a poor rendition or it's a poor man's rendition of Anya Chalotra. Because although they have got her permission to get her likeness, they haven't been able to accurately pin it down in this game. I mean, in certain angles, the character does not even look like the actress. I mean, take a look at this angle, for instance. It does not look like Anya Chalotra at all. It's only a few angles that you actually get to kind of resemble the likeness of Anya Chalotra. So it's a poor rendition of the actor. And uh, I think a lot of people will have complaints around the same. Overall, as far as the performance of the game goes, I think for most parts, I was happy on the Lenovo Legion Go. Again, the point that I want to make is that I am not using any boost here, like AFMF or lossless scaling to generate extra frames. So that's something to keep in mind here when you're watching this video. There are very bad stutters in the game, and I do agree that the screen literally freezes when it stutters. I don't know if it's an optimization issue, 
maybe it might get fixed with an update but right now it is what it is so i'm reporting as it is right now when i'm playing this game overall i think the game looks great even at 800p so if you are able to take the resolution up to 1080p maybe you might have to get your settings down to low instead of medium and maybe the upscaling can be set to performance instead of balanced and i think you will still get good performance out of this and another thing that, that i do want to try on this game is lossless scaling so that probably would be my content for another video not this one but that's my experience with unknown line awakening on lenovo legion go which is mostly positive but the stutters are really really bad what do you think about this game what do you think about the performance of it on lenovo legion go have you had the chance to play this on a handheld pc like the legion go or asus rog ally or the steam deck please let me know in the comment se section and if you have any questions about this please reach out to me via the comment section and we can have a healthy chat about it and um if you like the content I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button and also the bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. It's a wrap for this one and I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe and may God bless you all.